Hello YouTube, my name is Ben and I upload videos about fragrances, footwear, and everything related to lifestyle. So if this is your first time visiting this channel and you enjoy that kind of topic, I would like to invite you to look around and I am sure you, you will find something that will perk your interest. If you're a regular visitor in this channel, I just want to say thank you very much for all your support. The video that I wanted to do for you today is about this fragrance Cambrit, Cambrit Night by the English Laundry. And the reason why I wanted to talk to you about this fragrance is because I bought it based on a fragrance review I saw in the channel uh, Mr. Siage by Chris. Unfortunately, Chris passed away a few weeks ago and I never had the chance to let him know that I have bought this fragrance based on the review that he was doing. Now I don't want to come out in this video as a downer because my friend uh, Chris uh, just passed away. I wanted to do this video in a fun way so I will list in the description of this video four of the more fun videos done by Mr. Siage and I will appreciate if you take a few moments and go and watch those videos. Mr. Siash, he had this very likable personality, always smiling and being uh, funny, and that's the way I want to remember my friend. So I will appreciate if you, if you uh, visit his channel and watch some of his videos. I happen to have on my list of fragrance stuff for this year, Invictus Aqua, but after seeing his review, he compared this fragrance with the uh, with Invictus Aqua and I wanted to try it really bad so I went ahead and bought this one and to my surprise the scent is really really close to Invictus Aqua so the uh, first side what we have here is the very basic uh, box red box with some uh, <clears throat> gold color lettering in the back of the box we have some warnings some levels and a little bit of a list of ingredients we have a barcode and to open the box, it just open, it just open longitudinal. The finish inside of the bag is this uh, lettering or bell betty kind of a uh, matte uh, finish, with again the logo of the brand and the bottle seated in the middle of the box. This bottle is a 100 ml, and it looks really a, a standard bottle for a fragrance. The distribution of the atomizer of this fragrance is quite good. It delivers a good amount of fragrance uh, with one spray. I will describe to you the scent of this fragrance as a very fresh fragrance. As a very fresh fragrance, probably very appropriate for the spring and summer days. Some of the notes on the fragrance are a lily, patchouli, jasmine, and even some black currants on it. Now performing in this fragrance, I've been able to get something between six to eight hours uh, and the projection is really good. Whenever I wear this uh, to go to work, I pretty much can smell it du during the entire day. So I have no problem with that. I will assume the target market for this fragrance is the middle-aged gentlemen, uh, opposite to Invictus Aqua that I tend to find as a young scent, this one, it comes out a little bit more mature. So that's all I have for this video. Thank you very much for tuning in. If you had experience either with Invictus Aqua or with Cambridge Natch, I would like to hear your opinion on it. So I hope you consider to leave a comment in the comment section and let us know what your experience is. So as Mr. Siash used to say, and finally, and more importantly, go frag yourself.